Hello everyone, welcome back to another Economist Diary. If you're new here, this is Olivia. If you're not, welcome back. Today, we are going to talk about monopoly. The monopoly is a market structure where a single seller or producer assumes a dominant position in an industry or a sector. It is a real-life case which could be seen as the in the famous board game Monopoly. In the game, the player who owns the entire street, which is in the same color, could charge a higher fee. The monopoly in the music industry could be used to explain this in a further way. Universal Music Group, Warner Music Group, and Sony Music Entertainment, the big three com music companies are dominating almost the entire music industry. In the real world, there is no definite monopoly or a perfect competition in any other market form, as there are tons of external factors together shaping the market. Thus, the monopoly of the music industry may be the area between monopolistic competition and oligopoly. This is because there are many firms in the market which is considered as the monopolistic character and also the barriers to entry are not really high or low and have many differentiated products, concluding that the market can be strictly defined by any kind of concepts that taught in class. The three main labels still distribute more than 80% of all physical music today, a dominance that has proven disastrous. The big three companies expand their territory through mergers and other forms of approach to try to take over the businesses. A record industry executive named Darius Van Armen gave a pre-Grammy award speech on the state of the music business. You are independent if you are pro-competitive, he said. He was calling businesses that not to take competitive advantages by acquiring rivals, illustrating that monopoly could help businesses to have corporate dominance in the industry. The article claims that if you are independent, you are not looking to reduce competition by acquiring rivals or for other unfair advantages that tilt the industry toward corporate dominance. The monopoly started in 2003 when Sony brought rival BMG and nearly a decade later, Universal Music took over EMI. The monopoly will have much negative externality toward internal stakeholders. With their monopoly power, individual artists are extremely hard to increase their popularity without contracting a business. But once they sign a contract, the company will have the power over music copyrights and the distribution of physical albums, suggesting that artists will lose their ability to own their own work of art. One of the famous examples is Taylor Swift. Her album copyrights in the early career belonged to a big machine label group. After she left the company, the company restricted her from performing those songs publicly. And because of her great reputation and influences, she will have the chance to fight for her rights and started to re-record albums. However, there may be hundreds of artists who are little, suffering from same or alike events due to monopoly power. In addition, their dominance may trigger unfair com competition. According to the article, Major labor artists released more than 90% of all top 10 songs over the last decade. As the Bit 3 have more power in the industry, they will have the ability to promote in a better way, letting new debuted artists cooperate with famous singers and so on, giving them more exposure. And this approach is being accessed successfully. According to the data collected by Colleen Maurice, Michael, and other researchers, the number of new songs entering the Billboard Hot 100 peaked in 1966, with 740 new songs entering the chart. By 2001, the number has fallen to just 308 new songs, 
and today it remains around half of its 1960s peak, cutting off small labels' ability to reach massive audiences. Of course, the big three companies have brilliant artists. For example, Lana Del Rey, Ariana Grande, Drake, The Weeknd, The Beatles, Olivia Rodrigo, and so on. But consumers hope to see diverse music and fear competition in winning rewards, being promoted, and etc. The monopoly power is also contributed by many other streaming platforms, for example, Spotify, YouTube, and Apple Music. Hence. The complex market structure is built with timeless, dominating power, slowly constructed together. Music is life, and I hope everyone who wants to have a place in the music industry and passion for music sincerely will have the chance to express their love. So that is the end for today's video. Hope you guys will like it, and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video.